In today's Tech Tip video, I'll be showing you how to use the new prime turning functionality that is available from Camworks 2021 Plus onward. Prime turning is a pattern of high speed turning for outer diameter roughing and finishing operations that can cut your program cycle time in half. It can also prolong your insert lifespan by five times its normal run. Here we have a turning part that has its machine, stock, and coordinate system properly defined. Let's program this part using conventional Camworks toolpaths, and then I'll show you how to activate prime turning inside the operation parameters. The first thing I'm going to do is select Extract Machinable Features from the Camworks Command Manager tab. Camworks found five features for me, face, OD, two grooves, and one cutoff feature. Next, I'll generate the default operation plans for each of these features. Lastly, I'll generate the toolpaths for all operations. If I click on my turn rough, I can see a preview of that toolpath in my graphics area. And here's my turn finish. Let's simulate these toolpaths. First we start with facing, then we move into our OD roughing, followed by our OD finishing, our groove roughing and finishing, and lastly we'll have our cutoff toolpath. Let's go ahead and activate prime turning for our OD roughing and finishing toolpaths. I'll go ahead and select turn rough and I can double click or right click and select edit definition to open up the operation parameters. The first thing that we need to note is that prime turning requires the use of specific patented insert shapes developed by Swedish toolmaker Sandvik. These inserts are known as type B, which you can see on the right hand side, mainly used for linear, linear roughing, and type A, which are used for light roughing, but mostly finishing toolpaths. Prime turning inserts offer a much smaller entry angle than typical or traditional roughing inserts. This angle produces a chip thinning effect, which will allow you to run the tool at significantly faster speeds. It simultaneously prolongs the tool life by spreading the heat and load out along a bigger portion of the cutting edge. I've already added a type A and a type B insert into my current tool crib. So from my tool tab, I'm going to navigate into my sub tab tool crib and I can see both my B type and my A type available. If I needed to add them on the fly, I could do so by selecting Add from beneath Library. I could filter by Turn Insert Type and then select Prime Insert from the drop-down list. Camworks has gone ahead and added 86 Type A and Type B Prime Inserts combined into its data files and inside of the technology database. Now I need to go ahead and activate this prime B insert. I'll press select from the left hand side. Now I can see that my second sub tab used to say diamond insert, but now says prime. The next thing I'm going to do is navigate to my turn rough tab. This is where we're going to activate prime turning. So from my method currently set to turning, I'm going to go ahead and from the drop down select prime turning. Prime turning offers bi-directional or zigzag material removal, but the best direction to run a prime turning toolpath in is the right direction or side backwards direction. I'll activate this by selecting the reverse button. This is going to run my tool in a Z positive direction all the way from my chuck to the front of my part. I can see here too that some of my parameters changed when I selected prime turning method. I also have the addition of a new tab. Here I can set additional prime turning parameters, such as a constant cut amount. I can select to, to choose adaptive cuts, 
and identify a minimum base length for shallow areas. I can add an arc radius upon entry and extend my exit length. I also have options for holder clearance and more. I'm going to go ahead and press OK to generate this toolpath. Let's go ahead and update our turn finish toolpath as well. Once again, for my tool tab, I just want to make sure that I update and select a prime A insert for finishing. I'll confirm that selection from my prime insert tab. And then from turn finish, I'll activate prime turning as my method. I'll make sure that I select reverse as my cut type. And once again, I have that addition of the prime turning tab and I can select other options if needed. I'll press OK to generate those changes. Let's go ahead and run a new simulation. So now we can see our prime insert moving in a backwards direction. Camworks is going to automatically facilitate a smooth roll-in entry into the material in order to reduce the risk of damaging that insert. We can also see that by running our tool in a backwards direction, we can get very close to any corners that we have on our turn part or to our chuck, but we can still utilize that small entering angle and, and be able to take advantage of the faster speeds that we can initiate. Lastly, we'll do our finishing toolpath. Three additional things to note when it comes to prime turning. Firstly, although I didn't show it, you can use prime turning for both facing rough and facing finishing operations. Secondly, Camworks has stored information regarding what feeds and speeds to use for your prime turning inserts. You can find this information from Camworks Help. On the left hand side, select turn, then prime, tur prime turning, and lastly, cutting parameters for prime inserts. Here you're going to find a comprehensive list of all of the type A and type B inserts, the stock materials that you would use those inserts for, and the ideal feed, speed, and depth of cut settings. The third thing that I wanted to mention is in order to use prime turning functionality, your license has to be configured to run the prime turning module. So if you're using Camworks 2021 plus and onwards, and you want to use prime turning, just contact your reseller and they'll be able to facilitate that license change for you. Thank you so much for watching and please tune in for more tech tips coming your way.